Jeremiah 29 verses 4 to 6. Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, to all the exiles whom I have sent into exile from Jerusalem to Babylon, build houses and live in them, plant gardens and eat their produce, take wives and have sons and daughters, take wives for your sons and give your daughters in marriage, that they may bear sons and daughters. Multiply there and do not decrease. Can you imagine this instruction coming from God to his people whilst they were in bondage? They were in exile in Babylon. They were in the land of their enemy under the command of the enemy. Do you remember there was that time where they said by the rivers of Babylon, where we sat down, there we wept when we remembered Zion. They spoke of how the wicked carried them away in captivity. This was the same people that God was sending this word to sending a word to them when there were others who were saying, don't worry, you will, you will leave here soon. God will deliver you from here. And so they were looking for their deliverance, looking for the opportunity to go back to their land. The Lord sends a word with Jeremiah and says, you're not leaving right now, but prosper now. Even though you are in captivity, prosper. Even though you are not where you want to be, prosper. Build houses and live in them. So it's not building for the captors. Build for yourself and live in them. Plant gardens and eat their produce. That's the important thing. You're not just planting it, but eat from it. Take wives and let your sons and daughters get married and multiply. Increase, do not decrease. Really, God, in the midst of this hardship, in the midst of this season of captivity, amazing. The Lord says, you do not need your season to change for you to prosper. You can prosper now. Remember what the psalmist says, that we shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in its season, whose leaves shall not wither, and whatever we do shall prosper. Meaning, we will prosper even when we are not in season. You do not need a season change to prosper. The word of the Lord says, prosper now. You do not need to be delivered from the place where the enemy is to prosper. You do not have to wait until you are out of the enemy's territory. The Lord said, there's such an anointing upon you. There's such a blessing upon you. There is such favor on your life that you can prosper in the enemy's territory. And so David says, you prepare for me a table in the presence of my enemies. Do not focus on the enemy. Do not focus on the discomfort. God is with you. Your God that you serve is as much a God in the night as he is in the day. So he can bless you he can prosper you. Isaac sowed in the time of famine and in the same year reaped a hundredfold. Stop being limited by your season. 
Stop being limited by your circumstances. Stop being limited by the fact that the enemy surrounds you. You are blessed beyond measure. The word of the Lord to you right now is prosper. Prosper now. Do not decrease, but increase. God bless you. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And for more, join us at 9 a.m. on Sunday mornings at 10 Union Square, Crossroads. If you can't be there in person, join us virtually via Facebook Live.